In our last video on NFC, we talked about some cool things you can do with NFC tags, like sharing URLs, sharing your business card, sharing text just by embedding them into a relatively inexpensive NFC sticker. Well, before that, we talked about some really powerful things that you can do with NFC and profiles in Cyanogen Mod 9. But what if you're not running Cyanogen Mod 9, but you still want to be able to toggle on and off various things and settings on your phone or your tablet using NFC. A lot of you wrote in and recommended NFC Task Launcher. That's the app that we teased last time. That's what we're going to talk about today. This other app is called NFC Task Launcher. And with it, you can do some cool stuff, kind of like what we did with the profiles over on Cyanogen Mod Nightly. But it's a little bit more difficult to set up the flip side, it's got some more fun stuff you can do with it, and you don't need to have a custom ROM. In fact, you don't even need root, except for a couple things that I'll show you, but won't show you. You'll see why. So what I've done, we can create a new tag, and we've got a shameless plug over here to be able to buy tags, so you know where you can buy them from. If we wanted to create a new one, we could. It jumps us right over here. We can create a new URI. That's a universal resource indicator. New V card, a new message, new URL. Don't really know what the difference between those two are. Or a new switch. Switch is something where you can toggle between two, uh, two tasks, essentially. And then, of course, the uh, all-important erase right down there. So if we were to create a new task, we can add an action. In this action, we can do lots of stuff. We can set up some toggles, turn on and off and whatnot. That's great. This Wi-Fi hotspot, it doesn't let you toggle your Wi-Fi hotspot. It lets you create a Wi-Fi hotspot, not the one that's already pre-configured. Kind of funny. Uh, this GPS on off, you do have to have root, which I do on this device. And every time that I've told it, yes, go ahead and do that, it says, hey, this needs to be set as a super user, or a, uh, a system app, rather. And it attempts to do that, tells me I need to reboot. I do, and, well, it never works again. So I have to go in and remove it, not from the uh, Google Play Store, but from the control panel, the settings, and it's messy and painful. And it's why this video took a little bit longer to get out, because I had to figure all that out. So... In this build, GPS, don't mess with it, or you'll be in the same pain that I was in. And then, of course, mobile data on off, just toggles. Cool stuff. We're going to leave that alone for now. We can also set sounds and volumes of all of those, including vibrate on off, just like that. Always, never, when sound is off. Stuff that you're accustomed to. Back in here, we can set the alarms. Very cool. We can go to social media and post something on Twitter, check in with Foursquare, yada, 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 all the way down there. We can, which is kind of cool, you know, you can program a tag to say, check in with Google Plus on your business and then have somebody tap their NFC enabled Android phone to check in at Google Plus, if they have a Google Plus account. It's a lot of ifs, huh? Down here, we can select an action to launch an application, open a URL or navigate to someplace. Display, we can change the brightness, notification, rotation, lots of cool stuff. And then Tasker Tasks. Tasker's not installed, so it's not letting me do that. You can go in and look at this. If you've got some uh, interesting tasks you want to share with us, please do that in the comments over at pocketnow.com so we can know what you're doing with it. Kind of cool. So what I've done is I've gone through here and I have created a couple different tasks. Okay, So let's see if I can get over to that. So back on the home screen, here are my recent ones. I've got one for home, and I've got one for work. So let's go ahead and open home. This is what it does. It turns on Wi-Fi, turns off Bluetooth, sets my notification and my alarm volumes to 7. That's all it does. I can add more stuff if I wanted to, but for now, let's go ahead and finish. It says go ahead and place the tag against the back of the phone. We'll use this one. We're not going to make that read only and it says okay that's done so this is our i think we said that was home i hope we said that was home we'll move that over to the side and now let's do one for work so when i get to work i want to disable wi-fi disable bluetooth and post a tweet okay so let's go ahead and finish this one set that down there 
tag written successfully. Great. So here I am. I've just arrived home. I want to pre-configure everything. So set it down, goes ahead and it runs the task, sets the volumes, tells me what I'm doing down here in toast notifications. And when that's all said and done, tells me up here that it ran task home. Very cool. I go to sleep, I get up in the morning, I'm still at home. I get in my car, I go to work, and I want to pre-configure all of my work environments. So, I get to work and I do that. It finds the tag, disables Wi-Fi, disables Bluetooth, posts a tweet, and by the way, that tweet says uh, something to the effect of saving the world one line of HTML at a time, something like that. And then I have a notification up here that it ran task work. So very cool. You can set up kind of location aware tasks for you, just for you to do things uh, to kind of mimic those profiles that you may not have on a stock device. And you can do it all without needing to have anything uh, custom or anything rooted unless you want some of the more advanced features. So both of these apps are uh, available in the Google Play Store. They're not free. Uh, you're going to be looking at about a buck, two bucks, uh, somewhere in that range for one of them. Uh, the other one is free and you can just use it like that. Let's come back home and there we go. I don't have to worry about changing the volume, toggling you know, my Wi-Fi on and off because Thanks to fun with NFC, my phone and my little sticker can do it all for me. What do you think? Kind of cool stuff. I hope you liked it. This isn't the only thing this technology can do. I'm sure there's other cool stuff, but that's all I've done with it so far. So what have you done with it? Head over to pocketnow.com and I want you to show me what you have done with your NFC stuff that's made it all kinds of cool. This will go ahead and post that tweet using the Twitter API. While it's doing that, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. For Pocket Now, showing off NFC, I'm Joe Levi.